This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Craig DeCrelli. Here's what's happening on this Friday evening. Police in Papillion are asking for help in tracking down two people involved with putting a skimming device on an outdoor ATM. Video shows a man installing the skimmer on the machine during the morning of December 8th. Also, a woman taking the skimming device off the ATM about 12 hours later. At least one customer who used the ATM that day later reported suspicious activity on their bank account. Today was one of the busiest days for air travel this holiday season. We found a good sized crowd at Epley Airfield this morning. That includes people who flew in from the East Coast despite heavy rain there. Some of those passengers tell 3 News Now the atmosphere in Omaha is much more relaxed than other airports around the country. And on 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update. It's been a foggy day for us and that will continue into the evening hours. Temperatures will slowly start dropping off, but kind of holding steady here in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees for most of the morning on Saturday. So it will be a cool start to the day. Those winds will go from the southeast to the northwest and then the wind speeds will start picking up on Saturday. We're looking at gusts up to between close to 10, 20 miles an hour. Same thing even on Sunday. So if you do have some travel plans this weekend, still need to do some holiday shopping. I'm looking at great conditions, mostly sunny and highs both days in the 40s. We'll carry that over even into Monday. A few more clouds around. There might be just a weak little system passing through that could generate a few flurries early in the morning, but I think for most of the day it will be dry for us. Christmas Day also looks great. Few clouds around and late in the evening is when our next storm system will be organizing and heading our way. If you have travel plans after Christmas, this next storm system moving in could bring in quite a mix of weather between rain and snow and very windy conditions. So this will have a huge impact on travel, especially on the backside of Christmas. We'll continue to keep watching the system as it gets closer.